Hello and welcome to whatever this is. We're doing Love, Death and Robots. Um, this is a show that released on Netflix in 2019. It's an anthology sci-fi series which takes a look at different events which have no relation to each other. So we're just going to take a quick look through all the episodes and then rank them by tier. Here we go. So what's the first episode we've got? Uh, so the first episode that is listed is Sonny's Edge. What the Am fuck I pronouncing that right? Edge? Sony's Edge? Sony's Edge? <laughs> Sony's Edge. I, d- I doubted Sony's Edge. In the underground world of beastie fights, Sony is undefeatable. <laughs> I should stop saying Sony. <laughs> Sony. Are we at least getting endorsed for this? <laughs> Sony, Sony is unbeatable. As long as she keeps her edge. Okay, so is this okay, the So yeah, this you get the, the intro one with the, uh, the cage fighting with robots. Mm, okay. okay. First? Well, let, let's, 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 so... Let's bring up the the tier list. Mm, okay. Um, where where are you ranking this one? Uh, well, okay. To get into it a little bit, d- <laughs> as a tab. <laughs> Fuck that! Just say what's its rank, man. I'm not gonna rank it first. So I need to give you just all give the, the details. Rank. No, you give the ranking and then you can talk. No, about it. that's not how it works. I have to build anticipation for what I'm gonna give it. <laughs> you don't come out of the the review straight out the gate and say, <laughs> "Man, I give Sekiro a ten out of 10. Now here's why. Who's <laughs> gonna watch that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Sony Sony's Edge, as we'll dub it. <laughs> yep. I. I don't remember much of the story except for that it was a revenge plot. A generic-ish story. I don't think it was, um... Yeah, it, 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 it's it, not Shakespeare in the park, so to speak. But it's simple. It conveys its revenge plot quite nicely. Um, and it has some pretty sexy action. Um, so... Now I'd give it... <laughs> probably... I'd probably go for a B on the tier list, to be honest. Yeah, it's a nice... Yep. Middle of the road, mm-hmm. kind of. Very enjoyable to watch. Um, don't remember it too well afterwards. Yep. Okay, what would you say? I'd give it an F. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, okay, so... I think this is going to go towards every single episode in the show. Mm-hmm. The end... If I was to review it solely on production value with the animation, mm. even the voice acting was uh, there was nothing wrong with it. It was pretty fantastic. Mm. It would be it would be a ten out of ten. Honestly, like I, the thing that blew my mind about this series is just how beautiful it looked for a fucking show as well for a TV show. This was a like, Netflix. TV this was show. yeah. This was like and obviously they're very short. They're ten to fifteen minutes each. But like, oh my god, the animation is so good. The models look so good and the fights look so good. And it's so... Ah, oh, it's gruesome, but it's so interesting. It's, it looks so fucking good. Um, as for the story... I don't want to repeat what you said, but yeah, it, it's pretty stock standard. It's your revenge, it's your revenge plot. Mm. Um, I, it was pretty interesting. I, I found it pretty interesting. I actually, um... I didn't see the plot twist coming at the end but I never do because I have a small brain <laughs> but you need to watch Rick and Morty <laughs> but um and it kind of screamed out like the hundred teenage like <laughs> like vibes at the yeah, end with the I whole like you. but they don't know my secret <laughs> epic ending what I'm gonna get them all F society um <laughs> but um yeah no I I so in terms of its story and its uh, its pacing, I would I would give it maybe yeah around that seven ish mark. So overall, well, without rank on the the list, then from S to F, F being worst, S being best. I'm gonna copy you and go B. I okay. think I think B's fair. One thing I'd like to just say before you know we move on is um... you're gay. <laughs> It's just so lame. That's just so insanely lame. It's just not funny. <laughs> just ruin the course. Flow. This is getting cut. Of course, this is all going to stay in. Um, well, we can talk about that later, I suppose. <laughs> so first, 
I, you know, that was actually surprisingly on point for what I was going to talk about. Not the whole I'm gay bit, but the homosexuality <laughs> that was in this episode. <laughs> what a transition. There we go. Seamless segue. We, we nailed that one. Um, but yep. but there, was, there was a part here where, you know, after the fight... Uh, Two the, characters, the les- kind of lesbian relationship, lesbian relationship. The, the fighter and the love interest. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. I thought. I mean, I don't know if progressive would be the word, but it, it doesn't feel like it's progressive in a in a ham-fisted way. It just felt like this was an organic pl- part of the story, mm-hmm. so to speak. This relationship kind of. And no, yeah, it was, it was like, pretty. Uh, it, it was it was presented in a pretty like believable way yeah exactly. it didn't seem like it was a bunch of executives sitting around a table thinking oh god what do we do to make up a bunch of white haired like, 50 know when... year old Caucasian men going oh <laughs> we gotta get some diversity in the office <laughs> mm. like you know when you you came out of The Last Jedi and you thought like <laughs> And they just forced so like it, I, I'm so I, of course we're pro diversity who isn't you know we're not monsters but it, it comes off really, I don't know. It, it's insulting when it's yeah. not done right. But this one, I, I agree with the lesbian relationship. It, it felt pretty fine. Like, it, oh, fine. It felt pretty. It felt pretty well done. There was a, a fair bit of violence in the episode overall, with the, you know, the whole cage fight thing and the. I think she had stabby fingers. Is that right? She had. Um, yeah, she had like. Uh, I don't know. She had like blades for hands. Mm. So yeah. it was just, it, but the violence wasn't gratuitous. It felt necessary. Overall, I feel like it As was. As a Christian mum, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Christian mums out there, you might get a different reaction from watching um, A, a lesbian romance, and B, horrific violence. Mm. But I'm going to give it a B. Mm. Okay. Well, we have dwelled on this episode for a long time so let's just jump on to the next yeah. one the next one is oh three, three robots three robots i saw this one first actually okay cool so three robots what did you think okay so i'm th- gonna give this an air. <laughs> <laughs> uh three robots it's one of my favorite episodes of the show mm. I, I really really like three robots i thought it, it it's it sounds so. It sounds so uh, pretentious. <laughs> Pixar standard, but it, it honestly, it was really good. It was really, really good. Like it. It was so simple, yet. And obviously, I don't want to. I don't want to blow my load before we even get into the reviews. But we're gonna obviously go on about how some of these feel a little bit less poignant. Yeah. Than others. This one had a theme that I could totally get behind, which is just, it's just exploring how, uh, what's the word? How tedious and how pointless yeah. our human obsessions are. And it's, it's, it was really quirky. It was really interesting. The animation. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh. It's it was so, oh my God. It's so fucking good. Being introduced to the series, I thought, what? budget does Netflix really have and I saw this and thought oh my god I know that is sexy it, it, yeah so for for um for story the characters are really likable mm. they're all really quirky yeah um this is like a minor criticism but the CGI cats are my sleep <laughs> paralysis demons <laughs> yeah that's fair um <laughs> I too uh, have nightmares about them for different reasons that we'll get into. So, where would you place it then, overall? A deeply ridden fear of the pussy ass. I'm going to stop with these Keep gay jokes. They're just not me. funny. They're just not good. They're really awful. Um, <laughs> so, uh, They're made for quality content, you know? Uh, I, I Honestly, I, I'm going to give it... I'm going to put it in the S tier. I'm gonna it's put it. Good. It did everything it needed to do. Okay. It was really good. All right. Any criticisms you have, or was it aside overall? from the CGI cats? No, no, no. Sweet. Yep. Um, I too really liked the episode. I liked the the different act- interactions between the three distinct different robots, hmm. and the the comedic timing on all of the actors was really, 
really fucking good. Yeah. I have to commend them for that. Um, the lines were delivered perfectly. Uh, f- fantastic animation. Nice story. One thing... I, I wasn't so much of a fan of the whole meme quality of the cats being sentient beings. Uh, that, that's actually... that That's a really good point. The ending did sort of fall flat, in a way. It, it, it sort of... It, I, I, it's hard to finish. Uh, I think it's hard to finalise that, because it doesn't really have a clear, distinct story structure, so how yeah. do you finish it? Exactly. But, um, no, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I, I know that, you know, stories need kind of a climax. They need to get some tension somewhere. But surely there was a better way than a sentient cat. So, what, you didn't I give it a place, so I Apart from the, the kind of weakish climax, A. Yep. I'll give it an A. Yep. Pretty good. Uh, the next episode, The Witness. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. The Witness. Do you want to go oh, first? Yes, yes. Uh, I have not seen an art style this distinct in a while this this you really you haven't seen Spider-Man to the Spidey verse I maybe? have not have, I haven't yeah. that's my confession to you all yeah, yeah. Um, but man it had that kind of Walking Dead vibe to it the, the Telltale games but it, it was a mixture of real life and that it was such a bizarre <laughs> so that is... <laughs> thank you staff for your contribution to the video I'm sure for any for there, any we'll... For any uh, confused viewers, that was Alex Dog mm. uh, <laughs> coughing up a furball in the back in the background. We'll have to excuse her while she licks her way through the entire review, and we can't stop her. Yeah, like that. For anyone that's already kind of, you know, picking up on gay undertones with the whole homosexual jokes, those unusual fapping noises that—that's not us. Jerking each other off. That's not a, that. That was actually well timed. For anyone who didn't see that, Taking his a dog, deeper, his, deeper his, his, his dog, just stepped on my dick <laughs> while I was trying to explain something. <coughs> anyway, let, I'm let's, gonna, let's, let's move on from this. <laughs> just skip this episode as a whole. <laughs> Let's just move on. No, no, no. Um, um, genuinely fantastic art direction. It was very consistent as well, the cartoony style. When there was some sound effects, it would make a thwap sound effect, like it was yep. straight out of a comic. Yeah. Awesome. Really liked yep. that consistency. That um, was awesome. The story was a bit more, shall we say, loose. Trash. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> That's one word for it, man. Um, I suppose we'll get to yours pretty soon. Um, it, it's, it felt like it was a bit more threadbare, like there's, this is what's happening, and it doesn't really change, it's one man chasing a woman. Mm. Yep. And that's it, kind of thing. It doesn't feel like it, it felt like a, It felt like, would you say that it felt like a, a tech demo, showing off that art style, in a tense way, but doesn't really back it with a substantial story? If, yeah. Kind of. I did like the story for, for what it was. Mm. Um, it, it had some. It didn't say a lot, but what it did say, it said quite well, um, in my opinion. We'll get to yours in a second. Um, one thing I'd like to point out before I rate it: the blatant nudity. If you are a Christian evangelist soccer mum living out in the hills, Jesus Christ, there is full frontal nudity and some bondage in this. I just thought. That's pretty daring. I mean, I know it's a Netflix show, but that's did they it's show direction? Did they show taking. penises? They do later in the show. But you like that, didn't you? Keep throwing me. I'm really gonna stop. I'm gonna stop setting up that punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there. I can't i got to stop. <laughs> so what would you rank it? As a massive sex pervert, I loved all <laughs> the the sexuality in this story. It was lovely. Um, would you say it's love? 
Lee Death and Robots. <laughs> don't just. <laughs> I'm gonna go jump off a bridge. <laughs> Please do. You didn't give it a rank, you goofy ranger. Thank you. Um, I will give this another A. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's hear it. I'm very conflicted because I love the art style a lot. And um, I, I think the episode maintained a really... It, it was really interesting. Like, it, it was it was well-paced. It, it, was, it was tense. It was really tense. Yeah. As a whole, animation, pacing, execution is all great. But I don't... It's something I look back at and I do not get the point of it. Okay. You know, like how like people nowadays like you get those people like I fucking hated Holly once upon a time in Hollywood. No, you know those people. Tarantino, you know th this was such a pointless film. Yeah. But it it wasn't because it it had a it had a sole purpose to like transport you to a, a time period and just immerse you in that time. Yeah. And it and it was so beautifully done. You felt like you were there throughout its entirety. This one, for this one though, looking back at it, I was like, I just do not, I just don't get what they're saying. I don't okay. get the, I don't get the point. Okay, I, I think this speaks to a bit of a deeper issue I had with Love, Death, and Robots, because what I mean, you compare it to Black Mirror, right? Yes, as the yeah, other yeah. anthology, yep. incredibly popular sci-fi series that is also on Netflix. Um, but that it felt <coughs> like Black Mirror presented a lot of kind of deeper concepts or Black ideas. Mirror had the the time <clears throat> the time per episode to properly yeah. you know give an in-depth uh, study into the uh, the topics that it was presenting so you know whether it was uh, the morally ambiguous scenario in which you know you have this teenager that's been his online privacy has been completely breached but he was obviously not using it oh yeah responsibly um or well, whether or not or how far our privacy as a whole should uh should go and I, that was like some episodes just flawlessly studied that without getting into black mirror too much but um <clears throat> I, I think with this 15 minute episode at least in 15 minutes it, yeah. it's hard to really sum up a, a concise message I mean it would be hard especially for because Love, Death and Robot presents completely different worlds each time whereas Black Mirror is just based <laughs> in the one real world um, yeah. it would be hard to establish in 15 minutes an entirely different world from the last episode which is completely separate so I have to give it to the writers for being able to create a really unique and interesting environment but I just think some of the times it didn't pose any challenging or, or interesting questions it felt like it was sometimes in Love, Death and Robots the story was blatant evil and we overcome it by doing this so that was that's primarily anyway, so I'll, I'll put that as one of my primary problems with with this so to speak so where would you put it then Overall, on the tier list, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a D. Well, you were gonna say that? Of course, you'd give it the D, wouldn't you? You love giving it the D. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> next episode. Okay. Next what episode. is the next episode? Oh, baby suits. Suits. That's a. What the f suits? Mech farmers. <laughs> oh. 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 Would you like so I'm gonna have to give that one an S tier. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> what the hell? Uh. Oh man. I. So what <sighs> was. What was the point of this one? I don't. I don't get it. Why did it? What, what did it get on IMDb? On IMDb, it got a 7.5? 7. 7. What? What do you have to say about this one? So... Suits. Uh, suits. Oh, man. I... I like the animation. 
I uh, I don't think there's an episode in this show where I think, man, I, I hated the animation. Yeah. I really like the animation. <clears throat> really, <coughs> uh, really vibrant. Nice to look at. Um, I, what were they trying to say? Was it like were they trying to convey like a refugee message in which you have these rural inbred farmers that desperately try to protect their land from an alien invasion? If so, what it? I I don't think that's the case. It's this is not children of men. This is fucking suits. And I I just do not I I I'm I'm confused. Okay. I'm gay and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm scared. I don't I don't like this episode. Yeah. So where would you place it then on the list? <laughs> A B C D of course and E and F. I give it a solid C. Okay. <laughs> I respect your opinion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm giving it an A. Okay. That's fine. I want to see what you thought of me giving it a higher rank than um than what I'm gonna than give the it witness. For sure. I, I wanted to see if you would get pissed. Oh man, I, I, <laughs> it fucking blew my mind. I was about to just throttle you. <laughs> you when said you I start. respect your opinion. You. Taz, you don't know this, but beneath the surface, I was livid. Just boiling <laughs> frustration. How? A C. A C. No. Okay, I'm starting. Suits. Um, suits kind of takes the whole idea of farmers um, eradicating pesticides, like, you know, um, na- whatever those locusts, you know, locusts coming in to, to kill the crops and update it, updates it. To the modern era. Now you're not just using pesticide to deal with locusts. You're shooting them with miniguns. So cool. Wow. Hooray. Um, but it's told in the single most generic way I have seen since my last Hollywood action film. Nothing in this episode surprised me remotely. There's there's a death from one of the characters where he martyrs himself. I've said about five minutes before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to happen. Of course it happened, right? Because of course it fucking would. It just... And then there was the... The, the fake-out death at the end. Oh, we're taking on the big villain. Oh, my God. Did he just kill the pivotal main character? <gasps> Blackout. Cut to black. There's a gravestone. The gravestone is obscured. Can't see the name. Dude, I was so sure that he was dead. I was so sure he was dead, too. I was... <laughs> Majorly surprised. Dude, I was crying. I was shitting myself <laughs> violently. Did you actually shit yourself? Everywhere. Like, I needed a massive cleanup crew oh to my come God, in. Me too. Man, it was just so surprising, you know. Dude, it was so epic though. It was such an epic game of win when it panned up and it actually wasn't. And I was like, "What? He survived? <laughs> wow!" <laughs> stupid, stupid. It. It didn't challenge me in the slightest. It's nice to look at. It's got some good action. It's got characters I don't remember. Mm. Um, it's got a story I could not care less for. It's just generic. Well, if you and don't think that's it's... a cardinal sin in my books. Well, if you don't think it's worth a 7.5 on IMDb, then you can sig my balls. Let that one stew for a little bit, I'm sure. Maybe I, got, I, can, I got, I got more. May, uh, well, maybe we can put some laugh tracks to these Chocoma? ones. Chocoma? What the heck is a Chocoma? You may ask. Is that a Pokemon? Chocoma dick. Swallowma. Speaking of Swallowma, <laughs> <laughs> what you may be thinking? Swallowma, come. <laughs> S- speaking of Swallowma, I'm gonna give this a Swallowma D. <laughs> <laughs> so where's that? E- where is that even on the tier list? How do I edit that? Well, that's a D. Okay. Uh, not exactly an E because the animation was pretty sweet. It yep. was just offensively. <clears throat> it was just offensive, you know. Yeah. It just didn't do anything, and I, I didn't like it. The next episode is the Sucker of Souls. Uh, what happened here? Oh, unleashed, right. unleashed oh. by an archaeological dig, a bloodthirsty demon battles a team of mercenaries armed with cats. Ooh, have you seen this one? No. Okay, I'm going to quickly go on a little tangent about this one. So it's got the voice of Soldier 76, 
The man has a sexy voice, what can I say? Um, very good voice acting. There, there was... F explaining it for people who haven't seen it, they kind of... It opens... There's vampires. They're hunting Dracula in a castle. It's a bit wacky and out there. And it's it's not so much science sci-fi, it's more fantasy, in a sense. It's kind of a mix of both, which is what's so good about Love, Death and Robots, is the different avenues it can take. Hmm. Uh, the one... Th the story was okay. Um, the cat's part... You know, I guess I just don't like cats. Because they can fuck right off. But, you, you, know, own, you own two. I hate them. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just felt that that plot element was just such a... It, it, it was... It took away from the tension a bit. Just having this kind of garlic to the vampire kind of thing. Hmm. But it gave them time to exposition, so to speak. The, the only real problem I had with this episode was... Through the middle, some guy gets killed by the vampire. And it is the most gratuitous Quentin Tarantino death I've ever seen. I mean, the guy gets chopped in the head, sliced down the middle, fucked in the ass. It just keeps going. And it's like, come on. Are you doing this for laughs? Are you having a laugh? Like, it's so gratuitous, it borders on parody. Um, that was the one Did they point. They fuck him in the ass after he got cut in half. They Jimmy Savile him pretty bad. Oh. Mm. So overall, um, an okay episode. It had a bit of a downer ending, but a downer ending I appreciate. Mm. Um, I would give it a C. It had a good art style as well. Moving I did watch. A, I did watch it briefly. If I could give one criticism, I would have liked the death scene of that main character to go a little bit longer. <laughs> I haven't even seen the <laughs> I haven't even seen the death Already it was long enough It was moving like a four on. minute Okay moving on What episode have we got here When the um... yogurt took over After scientists accidentally breed super intelligent yogurt It soon hungers for world domination Do you want to go first? Sure Um this, this felt more black mirroring. It felt like it was taking a concept um, of sentience and a more difficult concept, so to speak, to, to just wrap your head around. And it felt like it did it well. Mm. It said what it needed to say. Um, good animation, like really distinct animation. Some nice dark humor. Some nudity, because of course, um, massive sex perverts. Um, just good. Just good. I would give it a B. I, I don't remember this episode too well. Uh, it's six minutes. I remember the art style being quite nice. Yeah. This is bad. I should probably watch it and then... No, that's alright. I mean, <clears throat> if you don't remember it, that, I suppose that's a criticism that could be leveled as it. Is it nah, not but I watch it like, that memorable? <clears throat> I watched it like four months ago though. Uh, yeah, I can't really say much, unfortunately. Okay. Um, Beyond the Aquila Rift. This is the second Ooh. one I saw. Beyond the Aquila Rift. Uh, awakening after traveling light years off course, a ship's crew struggles to discover just how far it has come. Ooh. What did you think? I really like this episode. I really like this episode. This episode was really good. Yeah, the animation good. was so good. Uh, the pacing, the mystery, I didn't see it coming. Yeah. The epic 15 minute sex scene was glorious. I, I, um, moving on. <laughs> uh, no, I, the, the characters were interesting. Uh, Any it's, it's. It's put in a way where you, you identify with the main character because you're just as confused as he, as he is about exactly. this, Classic. the whole situation. Yeah, it's easy to project on someone who's got you know the same kind of emotions that the audience has. Yeah, you know. Um, that ending. I don't want to spoil it, but I do. That ending was great. I know. That was terrifying. <clears throat> that really made it for me. That that ending. ending was fucking horrifying. Did you see how? 
disgusting. Ah, oh, it, it was such a it was such a great ending, and it was so disturbing. Yeah. Um. Just the thought of him <sighs> fucking a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're going full spoilers now. <laughs> Get your cameras like, loaded. I, have you ever fucked a spider? Such a common occurrence. <laughs> I call that Monday morning. Actually, it's, just, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's so awkward. It's so Venomous. awkward when when you bring a girl home and you're going at it, and then she pulls off a mask and she's actually a great white spider. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, if you haven't watched it, fucking watch it. It's it's really really good. It's a it's a great example of what this show does well. Yep. And uh, yeah. So, fun excellent. Writing. Excellent ball sack physics in this. <laughs> um, I would give it. I'd give it an A. Okay. I'd give it an A. Um, Beyond the Aquila Rift, really liked it. Um, it felt very H.P. Lovecraft, especially that ending with the the kind of mind fucky. The 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 alien creature, the spider that he was having sex with. We don't exactly <laughs> understand the motivations that was going on there, but it feels like there's this deeper thing that's been going on for a long time. I loved that. I thought, I, at the start, I thought, what the fuck is happening? It felt like it meandered, like it didn't have a point. But that ending clinched it for me. It was such a good turnaround at looking at the rest of these episodes and all the events that occurred and just saying, oh... All of these things, all of these elements they introduced, the pod that wouldn't open, mm. it was all for a purpose. Yep. It was yep. really good writing. Yep. I liked it a lot from a writing standpoint. Animation was fantastic. Of course, testicle physics, as you've mentioned. <laughs> a+. Plus. Um, the... Good. I, I don't really have any criticism, so I'm actually going to give this one an S. Yep. Yep. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, the next episode. Good hunting. Which one was good hunting again? Also, just food for thought. Um, Suits got better or higher IMDb scores than every single episode we've been through. Well, IMDb can go fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, you, you take it away. Okay, good hunting. I, re I quite enjoyed this one, actually. It was... It didn't go in a direction I expected, and I have to respect it for that. The British come over, they introduce new technology, it changes the whole um, <coughs> spiritualism that they had going on before. It's really tastefully done. Um, I liked it. Good animation. The, the blatant um, erect penis, that caught me off guard, I must admit. <laughs> Wait, what? You don't remember that? <laughs> what? Of course you remembered it. Well, of course I remembered it because I was shocked. I thought, <laughs> Man, I don't mind some titties. What's happening? <laughs> what is this? I, I can't say I remember the giant erect penis. The um, one of the women ends up getting pro prostituting herself, so to speak, yeah. to one of these rich people, and the rich people person is lying oh, on the couch. The obese guy, yeah, yeah, that guy, <clears throat> and she kind of crushes his face it's it's a brutal show watch out for gratuity um violence sexuality a any lot of christian stuff. mums watching this mm. get out <laughs> <laughs> fuck you get the fuck out yep um tasteful story <laughs> nice steampunk aesthetic i would give it an a uh this is one of my favorite episodes of the the entire show like i i, I love the animation it's so nice to look at. Yeah. So crispy. The characters. Everyone was great. I love the design of the cat people. It didn't. I sound like the biggest degenerate <laughs> neck beater right now, <laughs> but like, it, oh. it's not. It wasn't shy. It wasn't shy enough to to censor their nudity, and it, it sounds weird to be that guy that's like, oh, yeah, I really fucking liked it. I love that. <laughs> Very stuff. <laughs> really got me. No, going. no, no, no. It, it's not. It's not a matter of me jerking my dick, going. Oh, it was more me saying, well, you know, they're obviously these uh, these humanoid creatures which have 
a somewhat uh, mixture of alien and human mixture. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just thought I thought they were really cool designs. Uh, the story interesting as hell it, it just gripped me from the beginning to the end um that fat guy uh <laughs> he, it's beautiful uh again it's one of those endings where i i can't i i no 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 batman batman swoops in in the night to save the girl from being raped man if I could just go off on one here. This kind of reversal of the revenge story of, you know, going against these people who've taken advantage of their bodies. Yeah, well, it's, no, actually, it's yeah. It's an interesting way to take the... <coughs> really, really a, a interesting plot. theme. No, a really interesting theme, how it, it showed this, the really... The, the disturbing and corrupt, you know, uh, what's the word? Uh, world society no I, I can't find the word right now but it, it was just so fascinating watching this you know this transition from rural to this really uh, cutthroat um, yeah. selfish uh, colonized 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 world you know uh, people of power and, and wealth can manipulate Western. and 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 sort of uh and fuck over the week for yeah. their own for their own pleasure and so i thought that was i thought that was cool not only that, that another that well another aspect of colonization sorry to cut you off is um yeah, it's all good. you know the taking advantage of the spiritual aspect of this culture you know it, it, there's the the whole spirituality thing through the furries and this is being used and exploited by the people who've now colonized the society for sex. Yep. So it's an interesting <clears throat> yeah. way to take it. And it's got some good themes. So. Yep. So, so overall, I, I would... I, I'm going to dumb this on... Uh, I'm going to put it at... I'm going to put it at... A. Okay. Uh, Actually, fuck that. I'm going to give it an S. I'm going to put it in the S Respectable. Ranking. Yep, I'm going to give that. it an S ranking. I'm, I like that guy's chode. <laughs> <laughs> That's what really pushed it over the edge for you, wasn't it? <laughs> the dump. The, the dump. dump. Yes. Ooh. Oh, yes. I love this up No, I'm kidding. You go. You sure? Yeah, you it Sounds can. like you have a lot to say on it. It, it honestly... <clears throat> they were obviously very inspired by... um. They were obviously very <laughs> <laughs> you, you know it would be funny if you add a little disconnect noise. <laughs> like and then you can add a an, like a reconnect noise like did you exe is stopped. And add like a little would you be able to do that? like enter the chat disconnected? Sorry. Um yeah, so they're obviously very inspired by suits, like that whole Oh dude. That whole like exploring a theme I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, exploring a theme that has no theme, but that makes no, let me start again, let me start again, let me start again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got it, okay, okay, so, here we go, uh, they were obviously very inspired by suits, kind of delving <sighs> into, way. delving into a story progression, uh, that explored themes of nothingness. <laughs> you know, the themes of nihilism and ex existentialism. Why am I watching this no, not show? That. Wasting not my time. Not with even this piece that. Of shit. Oh, <laughs> right. Just nothing. It's just. It's. It's. It's quite a bold original story concept. It's like I'm gonna not tell a story. <laughs> I'm gonna tell a little tale here about a guy in a dump. What's the point? You. There's no point, guys. There's no point. You're just watching a guy in a dump. It's really epic. <laughs> S tier. I have lost all my respect for you. 
I'm just gonna cut all your reviews out now. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Go. You're done. Well, ge- you, you genuinely putting I'm genuinely it as. Du- yep. You fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You no. shit stirrer. <laughs> you guys. What would you actually give us? I thought you were gonna call me a shit stain. <laughs> Uh, no, that's I, what I'll be calling the episode in a second. Look, honestly, I'm gonna give it an F. I, again, the animation is so good. It's so good, and it probably doesn't deserve to be in an F. It probably deserves to be in a C. But for me, if I watch an episode, it sounds really stupid. If if I watch an episode of Love, Death, and Robots, because it's it, there's so much passion put into each of these episodes. Yeah. And I don't want to just needlessly shit on it because it's a fantastic show. But I just I left this episode as well as Suits thinking it would be like it would be like it would be like you doing a twenty minute documentary on you being able to do the world's deepest dab. It's right. something to there. You're saying something. You're expressing something. You're sharing something with the world. Yeah. But it leaves you with a feeling of why? <laughs> what were you trying to state there? Was yeah. it just a needless flex on your ability to do a deep dab? Was there something deeper at play, like to do with your mental state? It, it's that. You know what I mean? I I just do. I do not get the message that they're trying to say with the yeah. dumb. And it doesn't need. It, it doesn't necessarily need a message. It, I'm probably looking into this way too deep. I think, but. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a day. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't see the point in that. Uh, <coughs> this episode, if if I was to give it give it a point, I might think that it's about one man's trash is another man's treasure. It's that kind of cliched adage where it's like, well, I I I found this, but this trash monster it turned out to be my best friend. So make sure you respect your trash because it's yeah something like that but it just felt the construction of the episode it felt how to put it it was interesting enough I got through it Mm. it's just not one that I remember because it it didn't do anything daring or or out there the corporate man who comes in he gets killed because of course he did I mean he's a corporate man he's going to get killed the there was the nice aspect of the horror aspect where the, the dump thing is introduced then the reversal when it's used on the corporate man <coughs> but overall it just despite being a well animated episode with time and effort put into it, it the overall result was a resounding meh that was what I felt about it so I mean I'd just probably give it a C just meh yep Okay. The next episode is Shapeshifters. Shapeshifters. Which oh. one is Shapeshifters? Oh, Shapeshifters. <laughs> Which one is this? We have re- this is deep in Afghanistan. Two Marines <laughs> with supernatural powers face a threat from one of their own kind. Truly a magnificent piece of movie <laughs> cinema. It breaks new grounds. The cinematography is spectacular. Denis Villeneuve, please sit down. You have met your maker. Um, the story is incredible. We've not seen anything like this before. Um, it dabbled in concepts that will make you just say, what? Go. Go. It's truly magnificent. Like, um, the be, acting to, is incredible. Yeah, I could go on about this all day. <laughs> to be fair, you need a very high IQ to understand shapeshifters. What would you say is the minimum IQ you need to, to watch shapeshifters? At least 10. I would have said 300. <laughs> oh, right. Right, of course, yes. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I don't even... S. S tier. That's what I give it. It was magnificent. And anyone who says otherwise (laughs) is a heathen. I would give it... N tier. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's... I'm not going there. No, I would give it a... 
I, 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 it doesn't. I don't even know where to write it. It's so, <laughs> un, it's so unmemorable. Um, uh, I can't. We haven't even provided feedback. What's the, what's the main what's we the main character's first feedback. name? What's the main character's first name? Okay. Shape. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the face palm can be heard, heard audibly uh, over the mic. Look, before we shouldn't it too much, and before we give our rankings, maybe do you mind just giving us a, a sentence worth of criticism? It sucked. Why? Why did it suck though? Okay. Are we getting into the, the whys? Yeah, yeah. I, we, I we honestly need, don't think, for, you know, hyperbole aside, it, it didn't necessarily suck. It just was so meh. We, like with the trash episode that we just talked about last time. It, it took a concept like war and showed what technology could do for war. And is it good that we have these super powered human beings as a part of the war? But then, it doesn't really explore that concept because there's a blatant bad guy and they just kill him and it's like, oh, well, war, technology and war is good. Patriotism. I don't think hmm. the overall message was deep or, or well explored or interesting. I don't remember the characters' names. I felt that the conflict was kind of meh. The animation was fantastic. The action um, between the the werewolves, because yes, we have soldier werewolves now. Um, yeah, that's an, a summation of the show. Soldier werewolves. <laughs> the, that the action in that was pretty good. Um, the choreography was nice. It just felt, dude, bro, <laughs> lacking depth. It it felt like. It felt like an Imagine Dragons video clip. <laughs> it did. Like this rock song, this shitty pop rock song with this like a really generic award. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Frank. Nah, I'm kidding. No, no, Frank. Uh, uh, I'm going to give it a D rank. Okay. Um, I'll probably give it. It felt like there was so much unexplored potential that I'm gonna give it a D. It just felt uninteresting. Yep. Um, f maybe for um, you know, soldiers, it might have appealed more. But for just some random schlub, it's like ah, that's meh. So next episode. I play episode. COD. Do I classify as a soldier? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I could fire down the iron sight. I'm a soldier. Helping uh, hand. The next one, oh, helping hand. It's oh, gravity. Sweet. Take two. Uh, well, um, this one was really good. This one was Str really... Hold it's on. Stranded in orbit, oh, an yeah, astronaut yeah, must choose between life and limb before her do you mind if I do runs that? out. Do you mind if I do that one more time because I cut you off at the beginning? <sighs> okay. Stranded in orbit, an astronaut must choose between life and limb before her oxygen runs out. Okay. This one... It was really good. This one was really, really good. The animation, uh, as always, was fantastic. It was, mm. uh, it was uh, similar to the, uh, the Sony's Edge, was Sony's Edge yeah. uh, style uh, photorealistic, which they fucking nail. They must have a set amount of teams that specialize in a specific type of animation and just say, all right, you do those, you yeah. do that story. Um, and the, of course, the Beyond the Aquila Rift, which had, which had the same kind of photorealistic style. Yeah, Beyond, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, in terms of story, look, it is a carbon copy of, of Gravity. It, no one's, no one's denying that. It, it's, it, it is. But, it, it was interesting. I was on the edge of my seat when she... Man, that scene when she ripped off her arm in space, that was, that was horrifying. That was disgusting. That was like, like 9-11. No, we're cutting that. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got that. That was like, imagine you're sitting at the cafeteria at lunchtime and your friend says, hey, do you want some of my hot dog? You say, yeah, man. He goes like this. 
and some of the some he rips it in half and the sausage is bending but it doesn't quite break and the bread's starting to disintegrate around your hands and it's all breaking and uneven spots and then it explodes as the sausage snaps and some of the sauce goes up and hits you in the eye that's what it that's was, was that a good specific analogy specific analogy <laughs> this must have happened to you sometime in the past I, I like the flavor that he gave with that analogy I, I got an image of what it was like to have her arm ripped off and yeah. I equate that to a yummy hot dog <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, in terms of story it, it was great it was really good. Um, the voice acting was great. Everything about this episode was pretty great. My only drawback is I've seen it before with Gravity, of course, and um, obviously that that uh, that charm and um, surprise or something completely new, as a, a, a suspense in space, has uh, that cherry has been popped yeah. by by my boy Gravity. So that prevents it from being truly brilliant I, I guess yeah. I'm gonna give it a B tier okay. I'm gonna give it a B that's fair yep. I feel like an asshole I, I just I felt this one was meh too I just it had everything you said I absolutely agree with I didn't ne- just I didn't find it captivating as gravity so no no god no it didn't ha- it didn't stand a chance against gravity it, it it, sa- it didn't stand a chance against gravity. Kind of lacked that tension or gravitas, yep. you might say. Um, so, overall, I enjoyed it while you watching Don't it. tell me. You can't look me in the eye and tell me that you didn't splude your pants when she was flying towards the base and she missed it. That was terrifying. It was a little bit. But you, the you, fact... If you okay, it was. It was. Did you splude your pants? Maybe not the splooge my pants part. Um, I shit my pants. That's alright. I, <laughs> I can accept so that. So much, so many shit well, I can pants. Try, I like how some negotiation. No, I didn't splooge my pants. I shit my pants. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this how many pants mature, do you think I have? such a mature review. I know. People uh, come here for the... Of course, the deep, complex look at themes and ideas and here's not the channel. That, this is not the channel to come to. No, probably not. Um, overall, I enjoyed it. I just didn't find it overall the best. You said overall twice in one sentence. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, what, well, that's what we're here for. Well, overall, to support each other. Overall, I think overall, um, helping hand was overall. <laughs> Quite overall. Do you own a pair of overalls? <laughs> well, I them. did before I shit in them. <laughs> okay. It was a C. And before you knew it, it was over. <laughs> I don't know how to transition to them at all. All of which was necessary to maintain. A man with... Uh, Tourette, what's the Tourette's? Is it where you you read words the wrong way? A man with Tourette, oh, fuck it, it's not gonna work. We're both giving it an STR. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to t- find a segue. Tourette's, that's dyslexia. We- Tourette's is when you can't control. Okay, dyslexia, <laughs> dyslexia. Bro, and it's I not even. I got Tourette's, man. I can't <laughs> read properly. <laughs> Tourette's is when you uncontrollably swear. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is turning into the podcast. Okay, we better move on before we say more okay. um, mind melting, amazingly intelligent things. Fish Knight, you want to take this one? Uh, Fish Knight. So, um, after the car breaks down in the desert, two car salesmen take a dream hike voyage to the dawn of time. A dream like for. Fuck! After the car breaks down... Sounds like you have Tourette's. (laughs) Dude, it's called dyslexia. Get it right. After a car... Okay. This is so hard. We got this. After their car breaks down in the desert, two salesmen take a dreamlike voyage to the dawn of time. Okay. Um, What did you think? This one... I, I remember it very well. I'm a huge fan of uh, the 
fish AI. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good stop. This is turning into a shit burst now. Alright, cut all of that. Um, no, I, look, the visuals for this one are some of the most memorable in the TV series, in my opinion. It was beautiful. Mm. It almost reminded me um, of this game called Abzu. Have you played Abzu? I have seen gameplay of it. Abzu yeah. is, yeah. similarly, it's a dreamlike, euphoric, uh, how can I explain it? Journey through the sea. And it, it's pretty wonderful how, like, it, it's obviously going for the same thing Fish Night, Fish Night is going for. It's, it's a very, uh, it's a very meditative, um, I, I, I can't find the right words to explain this this episode. It, I, I'll be simple. I, I won't try to use complex words. Uh, overall, I didn't necessarily love this episode. I found it painfully average. Yeah. And I hate... I, I do not want to be on this shit train of just calling everything average in this show. Because it's not. But, like, this episode for me... Maybe I have a small brain, but I, I did not, I, I didn't quite get what they were going for. Did you feel it, it was the same way for, for like the, the trash dump or the, yeah? You know, what was the, the third episode with the, the art style? Yep, it, 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 it just... transports you into a universe, into a setting where you understand these characters and their situation and you're very interested, but you reflect on it thinking, you, you look back at it and think... I, I don't know what they were trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they were going for necessarily. And it felt the same with Fish Night. You know, yeah. I, it, there was obviously some symbolism there with the uh, shark. And uh, true yeah. the relationship between the uh, two salesmen. But um, nothing, nothing for me at least uh, went beyond what I would consider... I don't want to say boring, but not average, just stale. Yeah, yeah that's fair. So honestly, I, I'm going to give this one, it pains me, a D. I'm going to give it a D. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's just um, my opinion though. No, I, I, I hear you. Um, I, I feel a lot of the same thing you do. I'm, I'm more of a, I like the more open-ended I don't understand what they were going for, mm. but I like to kind of think about what might be the intention of the yep. author with this one. Particularly what you've just hit upon for me was quite poignant with the, you know, the whole two salesmen and one of them gets eaten by a shark. Yep. It's probably some, some nice metaphor and symbolism um, for that, you know. Yep. Goes out, young man, older man, um, probably wiser man, sees the young man going out into the world and tries to prevent him from enduring hardships then he gets eaten yep um so th there's some stuff in here and i can see what they were going for and it's nice and metaphorical i actually really enjoyed it um it's it told in a different way and i like that it wasn't it was show not not so much tell which i'm gonna give it an a yep. actually Actually, I'm going to give it an S. Are you actually? I am going to give it an S. I okay. really liked it, man. Yep. I really liked no, it. No, that, that is fair enough. I, I Honestly, a lot of my criticisms feel invalid. I just feel like I didn't get it. I should give it a rewatch. I think we're all different viewers, right? We've all got mm. our different opinions. And, you know, <coughs> we're, we've and got you some... know, some of us are just wrong. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Way to make wow. this a completely, a completely humble conversation turn absolutely not humble. Well, excuse me. I have watched Rick and Morty. I have eaten and drunk the Szechuan sauce. <laughs> I have an IQ of 300. I jump on counters and shout pickle Rick. I understand what's happening in this episode. <laughs> no, I, there, there was a lot of unknown in this episode. Oopsie. And I liked that. Yep. Okay. Lucky 13. You know that it got a... Uh, go back. Click back. 
6.4, baby. Suits got <laughs> Suits for the uh, win, my I'm guy. I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> telling you, suits can suck my D. <laughs> D was conveniently the rating I get. I'm actually going to lower it, you know? Because fuck <laughs> suits. I'm giving it an F. A flat F for being so obnoxious. Lucky 13. After the dropship, Lucky 13 lost two crews. Is that what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> After the dropship, Lucky 13 lost two crews? Lost two oh, crews, no, we're surely. Re- we're retarded. Obviously, there's two different crews with yeah, crew but members that's, in them. That's autistic syntax. Why would you word a <laughs> sentence like that? Baffling. Um, Baffling. <laughs> okay. Uh, After the dropship, Lucky 13 lost two crews. No pilot would fly her, but rookies don't get a choice. I haven't seen it. Okay, I'll talk briefly about this one. I didn't like it. It was very generic. It didn't ask a lot of deep questions. It was Call of Duty shooter kind of thing. Some nice animation. There was clearly an evil side and a good side. It just felt like a roller coaster ride. Getting off, it's like, I enjoyed that, but I've learned nothing from it. Yeah. Except that I get nauseous if I look at the screen for too long. So, I'm going to actually give this one a D. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, next episode, Zimmer Blue. I, I really want to watch this episode. The art style looks, as always, really fucking good. But unfortunately, I haven't seen it. Okay. Uh, you have, though? Yes. The renowned... Artist Zimmer recounts his mysterious past and rise to fame before unveiling his final work. This one, I, I really enjoy this one. This will be another S for me. This one had more of the concepts and the, the depth I was looking for. Mm. Um, I don't know how much I want to spoil for you or other people, but it was kind of looking at robots and, and sentience and memory and our creation in creation myths in general. It's it's a lot of things to unpack in 13 or so minutes. From one simple, seemingly simple premise, just about the colour blue being used in artwork. It's a, a complex idea in a simple wrapping. It looks really nice. It's got a very distinct art style, I'll give it that as well. Yeah, it's kind of the... Uh, how would you say it? It's a... It's a uh, 60s uh, yeah, comic book it's, it's, uh, espionage sort of. It's almost, I, love that, I love that aesthetic. I love that aesthetic. You're right. You're right. I, I almost felt Jetson vibes from it. Yeah. 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 Um, Wait, what's Jetson? Do you mean? Uh, the Jetson family. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Some, something akin to that. But it, it, it's just, I liked so much what they did with this episode and if they could do more episodes like this, I'd be very happy. And more open-ended episodes, you know, which ask big questions. S. I really want to watch it, so I will do that. So I won't spoil anything for you. Blind spot. Blind spot. A gang of cyborg thieves staged a high speed. No! This one gets an S, boys. Oh, this boy. one gets an S. Oh, oh man. Wow, this was epic. <laughs> What a story, man. Story for the generation. So we've just gone from Zimmer Blue, which was a fantastic one, which asked deep and complex questions, which had interesting themes in my and opinion, ideas. And in my yes, opinion... Let's hear your <laughs> opinion, please. Go right ahead. In my opinion, what made this episode so spectacular and what made Zimmer was that Blue... you didn't watch it? <laughs> <laughs> and what made Zimmer Blue so awful was... Blind Spot, I think it is heavily inspired by Birdman and the social network in that it's got a flawless script. It's dialogue. <laughs> it's, I, In my opinion, this is probably the most innovative cinema has ever been. Uh, the writing, it... My brain. It gets an S ready. <laughs> if you disagree, you're a cuck. 
right, next episode. <laughs> Little cuck boy here. This was a dreadful episode. Yeah. I haven't seen anything this bad since <laughs> Shyamalan's movie, The Happening. This was a travesty of cinema. Do not watch this. Um, if where, Maybe where if you're you, a juvenile where? sophomore teenager of like 11 years old and you think fucking shit and piss is cool. Like, of course, we both think all of those things are awesome. But, you know, if you love those, you're well into this episode. This, it's not as if it presents a difficult or complex idea. It's kind of Mad Max for the future. It's just handled in such a terrible way. The, the dialogue. Gonna fuck you up, fucking fuck pussy. <laughs> Dude, come on. Is that, come actual, with... is, is that an actual line? I'm gonna fuck I'm you up. I'm almost quoting fuck, it verbatim. Fuck pussy. I wish. No, I'm gonna fuck you, you fucking fuck pussy. <laughs> Honest to God, that is close to the dialogue that was in this show. It was terrible. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of fun if you're not looking for anything too... <laughs> too conceptual. I, the main thing that I'm interested in... Where would you rank it? Dude, it's got an F. <laughs> straight up. It's just straight up It's an F. Up. It's terrible. <laughs> I hated it. It was obnoxious. It had terrible writing. <laughs> the animation was fine, but that doesn't save... You can polish a turd and it's still a turd. This was a festering pile of dog turd. It was just terrible, man. Moving on. I don't want to even think, think about it. it. Makes me want to vomit. Ice Age. Uh, you're not gonna get the description off. <laughs> um, excuse. Oh, there we go. Uh, so the next episode, Ice Age. A young couple move into an apartment and find a lost civilization inside their antique freezer. Okay. Thoughts. Admittedly, this is another one that I haven't watched. I have watched the last two episodes, so okay. uh, um, I'm just going to sit back on this one. I'll, I'll briefly go through this one. It, th there's a lot of kind of series that have done a similar concept like this, you know, zooplankton's being grown. There was a Futurama comic on this that I read like ages ago where there's kind of this zooplankton that they put in a thing and then it grows and it gains sentience and mm. um, it, gr it goes out of control. I think an episode of The Simpsons did it, South Park did it, um, where there's the zooplankton grain sentience and then create civilizations and then nuke each other. It's just a little simulacrum of our society yep. um, supercharged. So it happens so fast, it's taking a look at, oh, here's the prehistoric era that we're going through, um, that these plankton are going through. Oh, 300 years have passed. And we're in the Dark Ages. I don't know shit about history, so that's probably not correct. Oh, look, another few hundred years have passed. They have nukes now. It's just a time lapse of society. It's an interesting concept. Um, I liked it. I don't think it was too different. Overall, an interesting blend of real life and CGI. I'd give it a B. It was quite good. Yep. Alrighty, the next episode is Alternative Histories. Uh, Multiversity shows an alternate history in which Hitler dies in a variety of comically fantastic ways. Mm. So what do um, you think? As a leading member and proud advocate for the Hitler Youth, I mm. was not mm. impressed by this episode. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I... Th this is one of those things where it's like how much can you say about it it, it was a quirky little almost like a YouTube skit yeah like very cutely yeah. a animated uh, you know it was funny it, it was uh, it had a few good uh, a few good little uh, well, what's the word um, slapstick yeah slapstick jokes in there and yeah I thought it was I thought it was cute I thought it was funny I would give it a give it a B I give it a B. It was good. It was fun. Um, well, as a leading member of Hitler's Youth, <laughs> yeah. I also disagreed with it. But of course, um, jokes aside, <coughs> uh, I I'd probably say the exact same thing as you. Really, um, yeah. I enjoyed it. B. Yep. 
Okay, the final episode. Episode. Um, the Secret War. A light units of the Red Army fight an unholy evil deep in the ancient forests of Siberia. Uh, I'm gonna let you go with this one because I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how I feel about this one. Okay, uh, this one. I, I really like the pacing. The presentation of the story was was quite nice. You know, the, the opening where they go to the town and everyone's been mauled. It's like, oh, that is a way to set a scene. Script writing 101, find a hook. And they did it in a very tension-building way. Mm. The, the rest of it felt... <sighs> Nazi zombies. I just think of that. It's, it's taking this historical event and then just throwing in modern pop culture horror figure like a mummy, a zombie, aliens, something like that. I, it worked okay. I don't think it was too daring or different or amazing, but it was, it was something. It was well animated. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, similar to um, Sonny's Edge, Three Robots, uh, there was a couple other ones, The Dump, with that... Uh, actually, no, not The Dump. But with that hyper-realistic animation style. Honestly, I, I found The Secret War, the animation, probably the best example of that photorealistic animation. Yeah. Like, it genuinely blew my mind. The shading and the detail and the textures, everything... It, it was spectacular. It was honestly, it was a pleasure to look at. Uh, for me though, it, it felt, it was mildly entertaining only because I think with, with, uh, a, li a little, like a little critique, a little nitpick I have with a lot of war films is, um, I, what, for me, what makes a truly gripping war story <coughs> is identify ident but rememberable characters mm. whether or not they're likable or not yeah, it doesn't matter but if you are very interested in watching their their story and, and just and just curious as to how they will whether or not they're going to survive yeah. that's what makes or breaks a war film for me I and mean, that's what honestly what what for me made Saving Private Ryan boring. I, I know it's illegal to not like that film because it's extremely well done. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to stop you there. I'm just calling the police. <laughs> you do not I, like Saving Private Ryan. No. That is a federal offence. No, no, I, I know, I know. But the thing is, it's fantastic on all fronts except, I, except for the main character played by Tom Hanks due to a memorable performance. I didn't find any of the characters memorable, and yeah. hence I, I didn't find the story that involving. And it's the same with the Secret War. I I would have liked a little bit more, and obviously you don't have the time to do that in a fifteen-minute episode. But I would have liked a little bit more focus on the characters, and then and then thrust them into this scenario where you think, "Fuck, this yeah. is terrifying." I mean, even if they gave the characters some really easy characterization, like stereotypes. Here's Chad. He's a f six foot Hulk and tank of a lad who will have sex your with your mum, right? Or your dad. Watches from the garbage or something. <laughs> Watches in the garbage, yeah. Something like that. Something easy for someone to just yeah, say, sure, okay, I, sure. I, I imprint myself on a little so, part yeah, of the So yeah, you at least character. remember the name and think, yeah. oh, they, he, they lost him, he died. Yeah. But I, I, I don't recall any characters distinctively uh showcased in this in this short but um look uh, what i'm trying to say is that's just my that's just my little nitpick on it I, i'm sure not everyone has the same view yeah. and that doesn't detract from it anymore my personal opinion i would i would give it a c ranking if i'm being honest yeah it's a shame because like the animation style is so so beautiful i just maybe wish maybe they would f 
go deeper with it. Yeah, S- spend some more time on carrots, perhaps. Yeah, Motors. so maybe a longer run time. But yeah, I, I, I would give it a zero. What, what, what about you? I absolutely the same. I agree with you. Yeah. So yeah, love, death, and robots. Do you have any final closing thoughts in the overall series? Oh, we've done all the episodes. That's all the episodes, man. Oh, baby, love, death, and robots. <coughs> Uh, oh man, it, look, Love, Death and Robots, I, I I just want to emphasize, we, we like this show. Yeah, I like this show. It was a great show. Uh, it's its first season, it's very experimental, they took a lot of fucking risks, and absolutely. totally went far to left field with their animation, and their, the variety in the stories, and, um... I, I honestly, I admire that. that. That's really fucking cool. I think it's a testament <laughs> for me, particularly. The, the ones I found best were the episodes that were most daring or most yeah, different yeah, exactly. out there. Exactly. Uh, and the ones the, that took the most risks. The, the more innocuous ones, Suits, which I have now um, retroactively given an F, <laughs> was just one of these things that was so generic and, and formulaic. But... <laughs> Something like um, Beyond the Whatever Its Face Was. That one, it just felt like it, it took such a different avenue. Yep. And explored so many different concepts and ideas <clears throat> and broadened the scope of the show. I liked that. Those oh. were the episodes I found best. Here's something that's a little bit hard. Let's give the show an overall rank. This is really hard because it's so the, it's the so, episodes are so I know so it's, skewered and it, it's uh, like it's it's like a bowl of fruit except the fruit the fruit bowl also has meat, and yeah, eggs and poultry and it's like well I'm gonna be it's nice not even a fruit bowl I'm gonna be nice okay I'm gonna give it an F <laughs> I'm just kidding no. <laughs> no I'm just kidding uh, I'm I I'm gonna give this show I'm gonna give it a B there was moments of brilliance in this show and I haven't even seen the whole fucking show there's a couple episodes that I missed that are meant to be fantastic but then there are some stinkers yeah there are some stinkers that opened my bedroom door at night and (laughs) laid a poot on my head please cut that out I'm not (laughs) kidding please cut that out Alec please (laughs) let me say that again you sure I mean it sounded Deeply con- sophisticated. <laughs> Something quoted from Nietzsche or Albert Einstein. He came in through the door and pooped on my head. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to give it a B. Yeah. I, I'm excited for season two. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I'll give it a B. I, you? I thought B as well, but I'm going to give it an A. The reason I'm going to give it an A is because... Yes, there were some absolute stinkers, but there was only one true stinker which I could say I hated. The rest were just generic. If Al Qaeda held a gun to my head and said, <laughs> "Watch Blind Spot again," I'd say, "Do it. <laughs> Kill my whole family while you're at it, so they don't have to watch Blind Spot either. Do the f- do the world a favor and just blow it up so no one ever has to remember Blind Spot. Can you imagine the fear in this this guy's face as he's holding an, a revolver up to your head and he's saying, "It's time for you to watch Blind Spot," and you look him dead in the eyes and just say, "Do it, pussy. <laughs> Pull the trigger. I'm like, do it." <laughs> so you'd, you'd be like, "Whoa!" Erase my memory of Blind Spotting forever, please. <laughs> Uh, Blind Spotting is actually a good movie. That it's, but there's this is an episode called Blind Spotting, and it's just trashy. I recommend the film. It's not the episode. I will. So overall, one bad episode. The rest were just either they were there for being generic, or yep. they just didn't do enough. But the animation always good. Voice acting very good. All the aspects of it were really good, and there were some particular standouts, which for me show that the series has a lot of potential. So I would absolutely give it an A and recommend that you watch it. Okay. Any... So I guess that's it, hey? Man, so we're, we're finished. Yeah, so I suppose we give our closing. Um, we're going to probably do more stuff like this, I imagine, in the future. Yeah, this is this is fun. So... This is fun. 
probably some more tier lists. We'll see how this one turns out first. If you enjoyed it, shameless self promotion. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you didn't we enjoy, really it, appreciate it, guys. Yeah, we really do. But yeah, um, we uh, we hope you enjoyed. Um, if you haven't seen Love, Death, and Robots, give it a watch. It's on Netflix. Um, don't take our words as fact. Well, it's just opinion. Um, you never know. Blind spot could be your citizen Kane. But it's not though.